Hello members and patrons. It's Queen Osset Haru and here is my vlog number three. <laughs> the first vlog was, what was it about? Let me see. Jeffrey Dahmer. That was interesting. <laughs> the second one was about Hocus Pocus 2. That was interesting as well. And today we're going to talk about something totally different. I just so happened to see this and I love it so much and I wanted to read it to you because I think we fuck too fast. I do. I think in our society, we are sexually intimate entirely too quickly. Now, I've always said we should go back to the old days of courting. And when I saw this particular uh, meme, I was like, ooh, I like that. So let me read it to you, right? It says, forget about sex. Just play first. Dance. Sing read to each other breathe together communicate don't count on sex to be the door to intimacy it's the other way around first develop intimacy skills then make love to enjoy them so when i saw that i was like oh i love that so much so i wanted to come to you for my vlog number three and talk about this concept I know a lot of people are going to tell me I'm old fashioned. I know some people are going to agree with me, you know, and some people are going to be like, like, are you serious? Yes, I'm very serious. I feel like that a lot of us end up in bad situations because we sexually bond with the person. We energetically bond with them through sex before we even get a chance to see if we like them, <laughs> you just know he's cute, she's pretty, she's beautiful, she got a big booty, he got good money, she got a nice car. You know the superficial things. And I feel like we find out superficial things about a person, assume that's all we need to know. The next thing we know, we're having sex with them. And then we find out sometimes some pretty disturbing things or deal breakers. Or we find out, mm, I don't really want to do this, you know? And sometimes we find out when it's way too late <laughs> after the baby is born or, you know, that kind of thing. So I feel like if more people played, if they danced, if they sang, they read to each other, if they communicated, did yoga, did meditation, if more people did this, I think more of us would at least make better choices because this is the thing. If you do these things first, you'll give yourself a chance to see if this person is a creep. <laughs> okay? You'll give your chance to self a chance to see that before you're sexually intimate. And sexual intimacy often leads to being intertwined with a person or entangled with a person that we shouldn't be entangled with. So if we take our time and really do the old-fashioned courting for as long as possible. I always tell people at least 90 days, but as long as possible, a year, two years, a couple years, courting often took a long time. So my thing is, is that I feel like people should go back to that. We should go back to waiting a long amount of time, as long as possible, you know? And some people already do this, you know, people, I talk to people about this all the time. And I just think that enough of us don't do that. And because enough of us don't do it, we end up in some fucked up situations or we end up stuck with a person that we would rather not be stuck with pregnant by a person or having impregnated a person that we'd rather not be stuck with. You know, how many men do you know, have a baby with somebody that they don't even have a lot of respect for, you know? That comes from jumping in bed before you get to know a person. So what I'm saying is, is that I really love this. <laughs> and if you're not already doing this, remember this the next time that you choose to meet somebody. Remember to give it some time to marinate. And you know what? Really like communicate with this person. Um, see, do they have shared goals or they have shared visions? Now, if it's somebody that you're just coming to because you want to have a sexual encounter with them and you don't want to have anything else, you can get away with it in that case. But remember to be very cautious because some of the times um, a one night stand can give you permanent consequences. So be very careful if that's what you choose to do. 
But if you're looking for something more meaningful, slow your pace down. Take your time. Get to know this person and really spend time. Not just talking a little bit here and there. I mean really spending time going places. See how they treat people at the restaurant. Okay? See how they treat people in their family. See how they treat people in general. Do they take care of their children? Do they have good hygiene? Do they have good morals and values? Is this somebody that if you did procreate with them, would they be good to co-parent with if something went wrong? Ask yourself all these kinds of questions before you get in bed. Because once you've gotten in bed, it often clouds our judgment, right? <laughs> I never caught the mind. <laughs> so forget about sex, okay? Do all of those kind of things first. And then when it is time to make love, you will have built so much energy with this person. And it'll be a much more satisfying experience. So, guys, that's my vlog for today. <laughs> Come back soon because I got a lot more to say. See you later.